we're about to do an interview with a videographer. He has worked with Don Q, Jay Critch, Flyboy Dada, Jay Guapo, and so many others. We have six. Yeah, you already know Vav. And Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Chris in the cut. He's just going to be here you because, bet. you know, All right, it's cool. so the name of your visuals is called? Vintage Modern. That's that's my brand name, you know what I mean? Personally, me, how, like, I created Vintage Modern, I wanted it, I wanted other videographers to be on there hey, eventually. Okay. You feel me? So that's why I always say six of uh, Vintage Modern, you know? But Vintage Modern is the brand six. It's just the person that's running right now. Okay. That's the forefront. So that's you by yourself? Yeah, it's me doling, yeah. So when did you get into shooting music videos? Um, or how did it all start? Oh, so nah. Um, I was going to school in Virginia, um, in college and all that in Virginia. Um, the guy that I was living with, he was a rapper also. Mm -hmm. Um, and just one Christmas, he was like, he was trying to do he was shooting a music video, and at the time I was like, had making beats and doing other things like creatively, and I just like stacked up some bread, got a camera, and just start from there. Once I got from there, it's like I was just addicted to it. Like, so you know how to make beats too? Yeah, I do, but I'm not gonna say I'm nice. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna say I'm nice, but like, yeah, I, no. I can't make no corny shit. But you know what I mean, it's a little ho hobby, you know, um, a little hobby. So you're from Virginia, or you from out here? Nah, you Virginia. I'm born. I'm, I was born in Virginia. Okay. Right, and then um, around like three months old, I moved to New Jersey. Um, stayed there off and on. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I finished high school in North Carolina. Um, and then I went to college for like three years in Virginia, and then I came back oh, to New Jersey. Virginia, back yeah, back and forth. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just doing. I thought you were just doing the basic <laughs> rundown, to be honest with you. But nah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Nah, uh, so with your music video, since you know you said before you really weren't into the cameras things, but you lived with somebody who was a rapper yeah, as well. Was you were into other things creatively. Yeah. From there, when you created the music videos, were they more? of the vision someone else wanted or you just you told them i i have like what you nah so want. basically like everything like I, I really start like if i don't know anything like basically if mm -hmm. i'm starting from scratch and like i don't know jack shit about it you feel me um i'm gonna use every person as like a blank canvas so like with him i'll just i would see the shit i would watch on world star hip-hop mm -hmm. try to do it on him pause you feel me <laughs> my man paul pause you feel okay, me to do it with him you feel me <laughs> Um, and, um, and, and every, every, every video I would learn something new, you feel me? I would apply new effects, apply different angles and, sh and shit like that. So, so basically I shot like five videos with him and then after that, I think I left Virginia and then I just started, I linked up with this dude named Mitch Felito, who was, he was living in Virginia too at the time, you feel me? And, um, he moved back to New York too and then once I moved back to Jersey, I linked back up with him, and then that's how I started getting mixed with everybody, Dada, Mitch, mm -hmm. um, Brady, Tony, uh, you feel me, everybody in East New York and all that. Mm. So, that's how, that's how that shit really happened, you know. I that. fuck with that. Yeah. I really wish I could do, be a videographer. I'm trying mm. to work on that shit right yeah, now. Yeah, no, shit waves. <laughs> so, um, list all the artists that you would say you worked with. <sighs> all right, five. Top five. Top five? Like that, like I enjoy watching it and working with, or just top five. Enjoy like watching it with, good, don't shake nobody. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna say nobody. <laughs> I that like um working with um I ain't gonna say nobody um obviously you gotta go with my guy Flyboy Dada. Um recently I ain't gonna hold you. I, I fuck with JD. I fuck with JD. I love his energy. You feel me? Ob um OMB um Don Q of course um I fuck with Sway's energy um. Let me see who else. Believe, yeah, nah, cause like, I'm gonna say Jose Guapo too. Jose Guapo. I forgot Jose Guapo. Okay. Yeah. So, what's the hardest part about working with upcoming artists? Um, trying to have the expectations not be too crazy, like, like people what trying to. They be expecting like, <laughs> like you got a hundred thousand budget behind them. You feel me? And like, and shit gonna get. <laughs> you feel me? And shit gonna be mixy and shit gonna be lit. Like it's not gonna work like that. Right? I, see, I just see mad in the street block. Mad yeah, well, things. that's like. That's the foundation of shit. Like, 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 I'm not gonna hold you. Like, every new person, like, I shoot with, you know, what I mean, it's usually it start with the peas. You feel me? Coin stores, block. I ain't gonna lie, but. 
Then again, but there's level set, so you can make the shit still look fire. You can still make the shit look like there's money behind it. You feel me? So it don't gotta look cheesy, even though it's still in the piece and, and all that. You feel me? So it just depends on the person. Right. And all that. So, um, if the artist doesn't have a treatment for the video, like, how do you help? Like, how do you come up with treatment? How I start my shop, I go off the of locations first. Like, the vibe of the song, if it's like a dark song, I'm going to go off of locations. Now I'm in concepts yet, off of locations. So people be asking you to direct it, or sometimes people have their own idea? No, nah, it's really like, 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 um, hey, recently I've been, I've been, I've been trying to focus more on the head directing role and getting DPs and camera operators and all that, but, but for the most part, I'm still head directing and camera operating everything, you know that. So I'm always getting ideas. Every now and then, I, I have an artist that's like on the creative side as me and have their own ideas, and it makes sense and all that. And we just come together and get some fire shit popping. Yeah, you feel me? So. It's tough. Um, out of all the artists that you've worked with, you know how most of the time you get the same energy from, let's say, in two people from the same neighborhood and people from like out of state and stuff like that. You mm -hmm. said you came up here, you went to Jersey, started working on more music videos there, you know what I'm saying, but you never stopped. What, yeah. Knowing that you work with a lot of more Brooklyn, like um, Joe rappers, yeah. how do you say like, what is really like the energy behind that? Like, you know, cause I've seen the videos, the videos are fire. Yeah. So like when you said, <clears throat> when Kobe asked you, um, what do you do with the creative directing part? And then you said sometimes I collaborate. Are most of those collaborations, or do you like? Take are you talking about like all the drill vids I did? Yeah. I don't know. I don't kind of question. You. So you're trying to ask like, like do? All right. So for example, you know, we um, earlier we said that uh, you know some of them they starting to the peas and then there's right, yeah, yeah, streets, uh -huh. right, right. So do you? Are you the one who? creates those levels like you change it up you mean like I this shit right here I'm not really fucking with it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. for know? the most part but it's always like um it's always like in the moment type of thing like you feel me so it's like if I'm recording like I'll stop in mid performance like nah bro let's do it like this instead and then we'll start all over you feel me but um most of the songs like if it's a drill song I'm like I'm not gonna shoot that shit in the city you feel me like I'm gonna shoot that shit in the piece like I ain't gonna lie it just makes sense you right. feel me but but like like a nigga like Fabi, like some of his songs is not pieces to like songs. You have some money behind that, have some cars, you feel me? But then you got JD, you feel me? Or like Tutu, who want to be in the piece or something like that, be in the bandos. Not no flashy cars, you feel me? So it just depends on the artist and the music and the vibe and all that. You know so, I mean? if you had to name three of your favorite videographers, who would they be? Um, I fuck with my son, A1 Vision. A1 Vision, I don't know if y'all know him. He had a, um, he had a New York too. A1 Vision, um, Itchy House Films, um, These all New York people? Yeah, believe it or not. Okay. Yeah, but, um, A1 Vision is, is New York, um, Itchy House Films is more of like a production company, so it's not really just one person. Um, I also fuck with Capo, Mob, um, the that, just Big Bro, Star Mozzie, mm -hmm. Stax Peso, Haitian Picasso, that's really it. That, those are my guys right there, though. Those ones I really so, fuck with um, in Brooklyn. Who? What have you collabed with so far, like videographer wise? Videographer wise, nobody really. I did, I did some shit with Copper Mob. I did some shit with Copper Mob. Um, Raptor Hustles. Don't you put stuff? Yeah, on I put some shit on them. Um, I'm like, I'm like the lead, a cameraman on, on there and all that. So it's like, so certain artists he sent to me and, and I'll shoot them. But um, yeah, with them it's, it's it's a whole different like ball game and all that. But. I got this up and coming vid with Jay Critch and Fabio Dada, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'ma fuck with Star Mozzie. I, I know y'all know Star Mozzie, so me and Star Mozzie and um, A1 Vision is gonna collab, all three of us. So that shit probably gonna be a movie, you know? That shit gonna be fire. So where do you get your inspiration from and keep going? Um, really just myself. Like, like I really don't watch a lot of like New York like director videos. Like I watch like like a lot of niggas from Cali. Like Miami, like overseas, yeah. like in England and shit like that. Like, if I like, I base my shit off of them. You feel me? So it's like, no disrespect to anybody out here, but it's just the fact like, the niggas is different. Like, they is different. You feel me? I, <laughs> they just different. So it's like, I want, I want my shit to be up there with them. Like eventually. So that's how, that's how I only look at it, and that's how I only go by. So you feel me? So, yeah. That's pretty dope that you say that. Like, um. What countries is, do you have any countries in specific? Cause I know. No, nah, ain't no country kind of specific, but it's like, I know, I know like, like, I, like I'll go on my gram and I'll find like drone, 
uh, footage of like Dubai or some shit, and, uh, but the guy from England, you feel me? So mm. just like traveler, uh, like the YouTube, um, yeah, the traveler, yeah, like, like them, them, uh, them niggas. That's, so them niggas be fire. Like I can't hold you. So like how they cut, how they edit, how they do their B rolls. Like I try to put that same type of aspects into drill vids or like you feel me, and that's how I get my shit spicy than like any other person. You feel me? So I try to get their elements, dabble with our culture, or whatever. You feel me? And just go from there. Yeah, the, the reason I ask is because I used to listen to like French rap mm -hmm. and like a lot of their top like really famous artists, they, they use these these really interesting camera effects or not, uh, I guess not effects, but they use these camera techniques that okay. have you like sitting there. Like just thinking about it like, <laughs> afterwards, right? <laughs> like just afterwards. No, it's a fact, it's a fact. That's and right. that's why when I ask for what, what country, because I know a lot of, not everywhere has the same style. Just like you're not going to yeah. see a lot mm -hmm. of um, shit from America that look like, just like you yeah, said, yeah, like yeah. a drone so, from England to Dubai. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it's always good to, it's always good as a videographer just to be on YouTube, son. Like make your Instagram your YouTube. You feel me, son? You feel me? Like, yeah, that makes niggas sense. don't know that YouTube has a timeline too. Niggas be posting on YouTube too. They be putting status on YouTube too. Like, I, like, I use my YouTube more than I use my IG, to be honest with you. Like, I'm always just watching shit. Watching just like how niggas who rap, they always listen to their favorite rap all the time. I'm always watching shit. Always, so. That's how I, I try to get my shit up. You have any any uh youtube channels or just youtube videos you would suggest nah, um because yeah that if we're gonna nah, say that nah, you're nah, you're 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 <laughs> alone, you feel me no nah, the fact well basically for me like like how like i started looking at shit like party next door videos early early mm. breaking toronto if you look at videos now niggas still doing the same type of shit that he was doing and that's what that that was 2014 2015 yeah you feel me that's a minute ago that's a minute. Niggas still having that still same style now. Right. So, I, so I just take my foundation from like that type of era. You feel me? Like the smooth shit, wavy, calm, a lot of B-rolls. You feel me? Cinematic looks. So I'm big on cinematic. So if you shoot cinematic, I'm definitely going to watch this shit heavy just to get something out of it or to grow from it, ask you questions. You feel me? So I'm always trying to learn. So what's your ultimate career goal in videography? Like, what do you want to do with this whole thing? This whole thing is have a production house. And just like I told you earlier, like, I, every time I introduce myself as Sigs, a vintage modern, you feel me? So, eventually, I want other uh, videographers under me. Um, so, you're looking for more videography? Yeah, definitely. So, do you want to do, like, a production? Like, oh, you want to just based on music videos? Would you do movies? Um, short films, you feel me? But everything is levels, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I, got the, I got the music video kind of, like, in the grasp. But now, I do want to venture into good little eight minute films nothing crazy because you know a nigga be reaching so i'm going to do a quick little five minute grow from there get a nine minute grow from there get a 12 minute but always like reaching something you feel me so mm -hmm. i'm always trying to find like people who are trying to work together build and all that right oh so, yeah so those are the questions i have let people know where to oh. find you where to find your videos oh, oh i have questions I'm not, I'm not <laughs> I mean, I'm only, only because, you know, you don't meet a, a videographer who, I, I don't meet a lot of videographers, and when I do meet them, they're all interesting because they, it's not like, oh, I picked up a camera, and I'm nice, and I like it. It's right. like, I picked up a camera, I saw this shit, is, this is tough, and I'm not nice, and I'm working towards yeah, it, and then exactly. they have, and then, you know, you're telling us these YouTube channels, like, you want to do eight, five minutes, eight, this yeah. and that, third. so do you fuck with, like, actual short films and... I fuck with short films, um, like I fuck that. with short films, I fuck with Sundance, I'm on Sundance heavy every day, yeah. you come to my crib, I'm watching Sundance, ID channel, like, like, if you watch the ID channel and how they shoot, and like, all the short type of film aspects they use, like, just in, in an episode, mm -hmm. it's fire, you feel me, so like, I just, like, like, certain channels I watch, like Sundance, ID, um, Hallmark channels, they got a lot of short and see niggas don't even know that Hallmark channels. Like a lot of grandma channels yep. got good. <laughs> I'm telling you, a lot of grandma lifetime. I'm telling you, nah, got see, good, they lifetime got good is movies. funny though, cause you can yeah. watch a good one and then the next one just be some corny so shit. Yeah, nah, it's a fact. Like, like, lifetime, you already know what's about to happen. That's true too. Yeah. See, and that's a the problem. Love. <laughs> like somebody <laughs> killed him because you fucked somebody. You feel me? Like right. it's not divorce. Like, but the way that they have it, you know, it's it, the the the. The suspense, yeah, there's the always there. Cause like even though the build-up is corny, and you know it's gonna happen. It's like you're still there. So I feel yeah. like that's an important aspect. You could just you know just something you could transfer to mm -hmm. making music. Exactly. Videos. So so just like you said, I always try to get a little aspect out of everything. So so I put it back into music videos and make that shit pop. But definitely short films. You definitely learn a lot from short films. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> the grandma channel. You feel me? Yo. Yeah. Nah, he's not lying though. I, no, I, 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 I fuck with that. 
I fuck with that. So yeah, yeah, that's a wrap for me. So tell the people where to find you. You can find me on Instagram, um, underscore no six N O C I G S underscore um, YouTube Vintage Modern, um, Raps and Hustles. I'm always on there. But always look out for me. Follow me. Then get shit popping. Hank. Hank.